In this video, we are going to use view directives uh, to work with our data in a more powerful way. View directives are very, very powerful. They're very much like Angular directives, if you're familiar with Angular. Um, and they allow us to just, in a quick line of code, accomplish great things. Uh, so let's go ahead and start by changing this friends list from an object full of objects to an array full of objects. So let's go ahead and create friends. Now let's make an array of our friends. I'll start by just doing simple names. So there we go, we have an array of friends now. I can get rid of this computed. We don't need this anymore. And so what we can do here is we can loop through the friends array and spit out an H2 for each one of our friends. So let's go ahead and do H2. And we can use the V4 directive. This will allow us to do a for loop through our data. So for each item in friends, we're going to create a friend object. So for friend in friends, much like you do a JavaScript loop. And we can now spit out the value of friend. So there you have it, we have an H2 for each one of our friends and we're spinning out the entire value of friend. Let's go change this now to be a full object. So let's change this to an array of objects and clean up a little mess there. So now we have an array of friends. You notice it actually spits out the whole JavaScript object for each person. Uh, great, although that's not really what we need. We want friend name. Actually, there's no such thing as friend name, friend first. Or in this case, we could also do friend full name. So it'll, again, we can use the filter on each object that works just fine here as well. So that's the V4 directive. Uh, let's also say we wanna start changing friends' names. We wanna be able to edit each friend's name. Uh, so what I'll do here is I'll create their name in an H4. And let's create an input. And let's actually say we wanna edit their first name. So V model is going to be the directive for this. And we can see friend dot first. And so V model means that it's automatically going to sync to that first name. And when I make changes, it's two way data binding. So if I change the Y, then automatically that got changed. It got changed in my data and that triggered a re-render on anybody that was listening to that data. So it's reactive, uh, two way reactive data binding there. So I can say his name is now Billy. And I can say John's name is Johnny. And so that's a really simple way to edit data. Uh, that's one of the simple things that makes view easy to work with is that two way data binding. So let's also make a model for friend.last. You can see now that we can fully edit any one of their names. Now let's say we want to work on that person's age. Let's make an H5 for their age. How could we change their age? We can add some buttons to maybe bump it up and down. So let's make a button here. And what we can do is we can use the V on, which will allow us to act on any user event. So the user event we want is a click. So we're going to do colon click. So V on colon click equals, and then we can have it do something. We can say friend friend.age equals friend age plus one. Let's see if this works. Yep, it works. And then I can also make a minus button that will take their age down one. We can change their age, change their age back up, change their age back down. Now, while that's a very simple, quick way to do it, the better way of doing this is to move this logic out of the template. Logic in a template is, generally speaking, a bad idea. You wanna do this as little as possible. So we can add a methods object now. Let's make a methods object. And we can say increment age. And this will receive a friend. It's very important that we receive a friend, um, not just a number, because we can now go friend age equals 
friend age plus one. Um, so what we can do now is on click, we can say, hey, increment friend. And now this will work. So we are going to increment age, pass it in our friend, and then this will automatically bump the age up. You can see up still works and down still works in the hacky way. So let's go ahead and change this to a decrement method now. Decrement age. And that will be minus one. So then this will be decrement age. So now we're just essentially handing that method off there. We're handling that logic out of the template and into a method. There we are. We're able to change our friends' ages and we're able to change our friends' names. So that's how you work with data using methods and using directives in Vue.js.